Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jan and we're at a dairy farm in Saskatchewan, Canada. Tomorrow we plan to start barley silage. That's our biggest harvest of the year. 10 days hopefully of straight chopping barley, getting up at seven in the morning, getting in the field, sorry, by seven in the morning, going until eight o'clock at night every single day just to try and make feed for the cows. Today we're gonna to be getting ready for that. We're gonna put the duels on the case wheel loader. We're gonna open up the first couple rounds on the field that we're gonna start at tomorrow morning. And then I'm hopefully also gonna to get to clean that MX-285, clean the windows, vacuum the cab out. It's always nice to start with a clean tractor. You gotta start right. But uh, we might be held back a little bit by chopping because there's a thunderstorm right in front of us here. In. It's pretty close to us and it looks to have a lot of hail in it once again. Last week a thunderstorm went right past us 10 minutes north of us and it had a lot of hail. I'll put a picture up of what that crop looked like after the hail went by. You guys can see it looked like a brush mower went right to it and just destroyed the entire stand. We're praying to God right now that that doesn't happen to our crops because we're gonna go in the fields tomorrow morning. If we look at the radar on the blue dot, all the pink on there is hail. The red is heavy rain. You can see there's pink a little bit north and then that pink cloud is a little bit closer. We're always, you know, glued to this radar as soon as a thunderstorm like this kind of comes through. But hopefully it skips us and doesn't wreck our crops. Thunder's pretty loud. Pretty big drops. Oh yeah. Oh, it's good for your garden at least. That's what you'll sell for, I guess. Yeah. It's a pretty good downpour. Eyes are just glued to the ground watching for hail. It looks like nighttime almost right now. It is getting pretty nasty looking. Clouds are moving pretty quick. Gonna go park my truck in the shop. We have not gone out and checked the fields yet, but it looks like we survived it. Uh, didn't get any hail in the yard. Just a solid inch of rain within half an hour. So that's about 25 millimeters of rain came down pretty quick. Uh, that's the biggest downpour that I've seen for a very long time at the farm. But me and dad are now gonna put the duels on the case wheel loader. That's what we use to pack silage. The brackets are already on there from the first cut of alfalfa. I lost the clips when I lost the GoPros of that. But we're gonna put the duels on the case loader now. So this is the loader. These are the brackets that hold the duels. And the duels are on the posts on the outsides of the doors. Got the duels bolted on. So now we're gonna drive it over the scale and see how much it weighs with the duels. We have to weigh everything now. So this thing's weighing in at 16,300 kgs, which is 35,860 pounds. It's a pretty heavy piece of equipment. With these duels on, it'll be the perfect packing machine. We're about to open up the first round of our barley field. We always do this the night before we're starting. So we're gonna start chopping tomorrow morning. Still, even after that inch of rain that we got, 
My dad talked to a friend of ours that farms about an hour west and they got completely hailed out. So we're so fortunate to have missed out on the hail this morning. It was supposed to come right over us and for some reason it just didn't. I uh, feel bad for everyone who got hailed out. It's just, it's part of being in Saskatchewan, I guess. But Nalene's on the way here in the Swather. She's just down the road. She's gonna come here and I'm gonna ride around the field with her and we're gonna open it up. Still pretty wet from this morning. Not surprising. Crazy. I thought for sure there was going to be hail in there. Yep. Well, the field is uh, looking better than it did last year, right? Not in this spot, but yeah, otherwise. <laughs> well, on average, the field is definitely looking better than it did last year. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we do a lot better tonnage wise. And uh, even though we got that inch of rain this morning, all things considered, the field's pretty dry. I know dad always used to say, you could get an inch or two of rain and it was just always so dry that you could drive anywhere in the field the, uh, the next day. And from 2010 to like 2015, it was just too wet. You couldn't do that. We had so much rain in those years. And the last couple of years, it went back to normal here in Saskatchewan. It's so dry, you can get an inch of rain in the field and you can drive anywhere you want again without getting stuck, so. That's uh, the true prairie weather, I guess. So all in all, the crops are looking better than they did last year. I took a couple drone shots there with the swather and then after I figured I'd fly along one of the tree lines and that you could really see where the heavy barley was. That rain that we got this morning, it just came down so quick and so heavy, it pushed down a lot of the heavy barley that we had. So everything that was you know, really healthy, really big, really tall, got pushed down by the rain. Uh, it's not really going to impact the yield too much. We might leave a little bit of tonnage on the ground just because we can't cut it because it is down. But that's the biggest struggle with that barley being down on the ground. It's hard to cut for the swather. She has to stop sometimes. It gets plugged up pretty easily. And that makes a hassle for chopping because you get a bunch of lumps in the swaths. But got her pulled out of the shed. We also got the Milwaukee cordless vacuum. Let's give this cab a little tidying up before we get started tomorrow. How is there not a better way to clean windows yet? Well, those windows are looking a lot better, especially out the back. On the side, that's where I'm gonna be looking through the most tomorrow, looking at that chopper go. So, gotta make sure those are nice and clean. Now we got some invisible glass. This is supposed to be, you're just 
supposed to be able to spray this on the glass and then clean it with a cloth. I can't really squeegee the inside of the windows. We're gonna try this in here. That front window is definitely the cleanest and that's because it's a new windshield. Put it in last winter. So it's, it's pretty, pretty clean. That is it for today's video guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if you wanna see silaging, make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna make a lot of silaging content uh, in the next couple weeks here. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.